Why do rattlesnakes rattle? For one, it acts as a warning signal. Combined with the fact that rattlesnakes are venomous, it acts as a deterrent that keeps the recipient of the signal away from the snake. This is to avoid physical and potentially harmful conflict. In this case, rattling would be sufficient as an on-off signal. Either the snake rattles, or it does not. However, this is not how many rattlesnakes actually rattle. Rattling sound itself is generated by the snake shaking its tail, clashing tail segments into each other, and generating sound pulses. Many snakes, like western diamondback rattlesnakes, can vary the rate at which they shake their tail. Therefore, rattling may contain more information than just a simple warning signal. To test whether rattlesnakes change their rattling frequency in response to an approaching stimulus, we presented snakes with looming stimuli. Looming stimuli consisted of a black disc that was presented in front of the snake via a projector. Snakes started to respond to the looming stimuli by rattling at low frequency, increasing their rattling frequency with the looming stimulus growing bigger in size. The larger the looming stimulus became, the faster the snakes were rattling. The rattling behavior is thus reminiscent of the distant sensors of a car while driving backwards. This increase in frequency lasted to a frequency range of about 40 Hz. At this point, snakes changed their rattling strategy and increased their rattling frequency suddenly to a range of about 100 Hz. From these experiments, we concluded that snakes did not only advertise their presence by rattling, but that the rattling indeed carries information about the relative distance of an object to the snake. But why do the snake change to 100 Hz frequency? The snakes actually do a good job at informing the approaching stimulus about their relative distance. Why change from such an honest signaling to a 100 Hz signaling that doesn't carry any information about the relative distance to the snake. By switching abruptly to a 100 Hz range, snakes might actually induce a change in perception in the approaching subjects. In the low frequency range, snakes provide the approaching subject with an information about the relative distance. With decreasing distance, the rattling frequency increases. If a sudden increase is now happening, subjects might actually be fooled to believe that they are closer to the snake than they are. We tested this hypothesis in humans in a virtual reality environment. Subjects were moved towards an invisible rattlesnake and had to estimate the distance to the snake based on synthetic rattling sounds. While approaching the snake, they heard either a constant 12 Hz rattling or a distance dependent rattling which increased its frequency from 8 to 4 meters and then switched into a high frequency rattling mode at 4 meters. Test subject readily responded to the distance dependent rattling of our virtual snake and highly underestimated the distance to the virtual snake. From these experiments we concluded that the distance dependent rattling of the snakes together with the jump generates a change in perception in the approaching subject and might indeed lead to an increased safety distance to the snake. I'd like to end by acknowledging the contribution of Lutz Wiegrebe to this study. Lutz sadly passed away before the completion of this project. He was known worldwide as a leading expert in acoustical psychophysics and was involved in all parts of the study. He was highly respected among his colleagues for his sharp and critical mind, for his helpfulness and for his cheerful personality. He is great.